I'm Jenny Fick. Here's a look at what's happening in your Wednesday morning health headlines. When a home gets flooded, not only do homeowners have to deal with a loss of property, but it's also imperative that you take precautions to ensure that you stay healthy. The CDC recommends throwing away food that may have been contaminated by the floodwaters, as well as perishable items that have been sitting out in temperatures above 40 degrees for two hours or more. Boil water for at least a minute to kill bacteria before drinking, and when it comes to water for cleaning, you should add a small amount of unscented bleach to water and let it stand for about half an hour to help prevent mold. Clean up and dry out the home quickly within 24 to 48 hours if possible, and this may be relevant for certain parts of our state. Next, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration is taking a closer look at breast implants. While most women have no serious complications, there are some cases of pain, fatigue, and cognitive issues. In an open meeting Monday and Tuesday, the FDA will discuss those risks as well as the benefits of breast implants. And that comes just days after the agency issued a warning to two different manufacturers because they didn't conduct required long-term studies on their gel-filled implants. And last, a new study in the journal Pediatrics finds real books have an advantage over electric books when it comes to creating quality interactions. Researchers found parents and toddlers talked more and had more collaboration like turning pages and holding the book when reading printed books together. When using electronic books, toddlers were more focused on tapping or swiping on the device instead of focusing on the story. And doctor, uh, the doctors say that the parent-child interaction is critical for helping children develop and improve their reading and language skills.